jumping spider, regal jumping spider, regal jumping spider, hopefully a female. They are the cutest. Ever since I was a little kid, I used to see them on my grandmother's rose bush in a bright sun in the in the early afternoon. They are the cutest. They're like bumblebees in the spider family. They're they're just fuzzy. They got cute faces. They they're friendly. They're harmless to humans, not to their prey. And they're and they're not nocturnal, they're daytime spiders. Isn't that amazing? Daytime arachnids. Oh, the jumping spider. You gotta love them. You gotta love them. Uh, uh, they bundle real bundles of joy. Not like those those little spoiled bastards that these kids that people put on the internet. They're little kids. This is a real true bundle of joy. Not the spoiled coddled little bastards. That you see in, in in America, in America, you know these videos that go viral with their little freaking spoiled little coddle kids and kittens and puppies and ducks and all this crap. There's a there's a true bundle of joy right there. This is the Regal Jumping Spider Network. The most entertaining arachnid of all time. The Regal Jumping Spider happens to be the largest of all the jumping spiders. They come often in brightly jewel-like colors, very shiny, almost like the, a hummingbird of spiders when the sun hits them. This, of course, is the underbelly of a young version. It looks much much prettier from the top. And then of course when the sun hits them they look like jewels. Like I just said, like hummingbirds. It just finished eating two Turkestan red runner roaches approximately the same size as the spider and devour them both there's a small dubia down there you see the the bolus from the other two roaches that it left there's a small dubia that has trouble getting right side up but it must be full otherwise it would have attacked it by now there's the water crystals This joint is jumping. Wouldn't it be nice if you can miniaturize a teabagger, conservative Republican, and place it in this container? Or a Hillary Clinton supporter? Or even better yet, Deborah Wasser Min Schultz, the head of the DNC. Just miniaturize them all and put them in here. Oh, that would be great. And in, in, in honor of my good friend, Ronald King, our official male rights activist, every spoiled, coddled little monster, little brat in America should be put in here too after it is miniaturized. 
one of the worst cock blockers of all time is the young, spoiled, obnoxious American uh, brat. The spider's, I guess, grooming itself, licking its chops, whatever the hell it's doing. Yeah. Look in the old chops, eh? Look in the old chops. And for those that don't enjoy watching these regal jumping spider videos, you can all go fuck yourselves. You hear me? You like apples? Well, you can go fuck yourselves. How do you like them apples? You cocksuckers. Oh, oh you cocksuckers. You bona fide cocksuckers. Oh, I mustn't forget. I would love to miniaturize all these, these arrogant, uh, I don't know what the hell they are. These uh, people that are only spectators on my very large, very hard-hitting groups, but they... Uh, they only post comments or they click like, which is very lame. Everything they post is on their own profile with a very limited amount of friends. Low exposure. They don't have the balls. They don't have the intestinal fortitude. They don't have the guts to post their valuable information on the political group or the, or the food group or the natural health group. Oh no, they don't do that. They put it on their own lame little bubble. The little the little click of their own profile on Facebook, on social media, to share it only with their friends and family. Because they don't have the guts, they don't have the balls to go public and share it with a much higher volume of people. You make me sick. You're all, you're all pigeon-livered, pusillanimous pipsqueaks that should be spider food for my jumping spider. You understand what I'm saying? You're pussies <clears throat> and wussies, and, and you DNC and Hillary Clinton supporters are also spineless wussies. You don't have the the courage, you don't have the guts, you don't have the backbone to feel the burn, feel the burn and support a real honest man that owes no one any favors. Senator Bernie Sanders, oh no, you should be spider food. You should have the, the life juices sucked out of you by my irregular jumping spider. You're a waste of sperm. You should be Spider food. You should be spider food. All dishonest, selfish, blood-sucking parasites. Cowards. You're not progressive warriors. You're cowards. You should all be spider food. You should make me sick. You make me sick. The ultra-liberal... Pollyanna pacifist hipsters are just as bad as the right-wing teabaggers. You're all spineless. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.